When considering ballistic vests, many people believe bullet penetration to be the only risk. However, when the bullet is stopped, energy is transferred through the vest, resulting in backside trauma. Backside trauma can cause death from the blunt force of the bullet, even in cases when the penetration is completely stopped. Consider an assault with a blunt object such as a bat. No one doubts that this would be a life-threatening attack. Now look at the difference between the impact of a bat on bare clay and the impact of a non-penetrating bullet on a vest that would pass all of NIJ's standards. The bullet impact is three times deeper than that of the bat's, and the damage from the bat happens at a fraction of the speed of a bullet. It is important not to underestimate the backside trauma as a risk. Finding a way to simulate blunt trauma in a test is difficult as the specific material makeup of human tissue plays an essential role in how vests perform. Human tissue is complicated to simulate. No material matches perfectly because human tissue is not consistent. Impacts on different parts of the body will have different effects. This is especially true of the torso because of the number of vital organs as well as rib bones. Due to this problem, backing materials can become infinitely complex and expensive. The underlying science to support backside deformation criteria is based on live tissue tests done on pigs or sheep tested by the Department of Defense. Picking one backside material is always a compromise between a substance that is a good tissue simulant and one that works well at recording the impact energy. Animal protein gelatin is a substance like typical jello, only firmer. It is the best tissue simulant that is inexpensive and made from one substance. It is the material used for FBI testing. However, it has a major flaw. It is useless for backside deformation recording because after the gelatin is shot, it bounces back from the impact, so there's nothing to measure. Romoplastilina clay is not a particularly good tissue simulant, but the impact energy of the bullet leaves a recordable imprint on the backside. It has become the standard backing material for most major military and law enforcement ballistic testing, including the NIJ. Vests perform differently on each backing material. The capacity for a bullet to penetrate is affected by the density of the backing material. A denser backing material makes bullets more likely to penetrate. Vests are easier to penetrate on Roma clay because it's twice as dense as tissue. This constraint is accepted because it results in better protection and is necessary to use a material that has a measurable result. The NIJ requires the depth of backside must be no greater than 44 millimeters or 1.7 inches. The maximum depth of 44 millimeters became an NIJ standard because of a compromise between the industry, the NIJ, and laboratory capability. There is no specific safety risk that relates to a depth of 44 millimeters. Body armor that provides the most safety spreads the energy over the largest area in order to minimize the damage from backside trauma. Unless vest manufacturers understand and compensate for backside deformation, it can be a considerable risk. The risk is not only from injuries from blunt trauma, but also from incapacitating an officer in a life-threatening situation. The vest must allow the officer to keep moving and get to safety. The NIJ specification on backside trauma only limits depth of backface signature. The way backface energy is delivered may play an important role. This diagram represents a passing deformation, but it is in a cone shape indicating that the trauma delivered may be very concentrated. This type of backside trauma is potentially harmful. This diagram represents a deformation that is much greater in area, but shallow. This means the vest spreading the energy out so that the impact may be more survivable. Because these issues are not well understood, it's important to play it safe with backside trauma. Because of the many variables in clay performance, the measured backface result can be inconsistent. It is difficult for two labs to get the same results. This is another good reason to play it safe with armor backface results. Understand body armor. Know the right questions to ask.